Hey jammy buddies, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today is an exciting day because we are doing a collab with Michelle from Michelle's Cozy Home. If you are not familiar with her channel, she does some amazing DIYs. Um, she does a lot of vintage and farmhouse, shabby chic, all that type of good stuff. So every time I go over to her channel, um, I just get so inspired. She is just amazing. And she usually does like a little bit of explaining at the beginning of her video on what she did and where she got the idea and then she will go ahead and go into detail with the DIY a little later in her video so make sure to stay tuned for the entire thing and subscribe to her channel and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DIYs like these. We decided to do something with the canvases from Dollar Tree and see what we could both come up with. So I hope you enjoy my ideas that I had and make sure to go check out hers after you're done watching this video. My name is Sarah and this is my co-host Brie bug. I will have Michelle's channel linked down in the description box below, so be sure to go check that out. Yeah. Mm. And also, I will probably add a few clips of Brie at the end of my video, like usual, so you can see what she's been up to. <laughs> So for all of these DIYs, I'm using like the medium size I think it is. I wasn't able to find the bigger ones and I didn't want to go too small so I got like the medium size and I'm just taking it out of the package and then I go ahead and remove the canvas from the frame with my X-Acto knife or utility knife, whatever the heck this thing is called and I just go ahead and take off that canvas and then I really liked how it looked on the inside part so I went ahead and saved all of them for other DIYs and I will show you what I did with one of them on the next DIY but go ahead and remove that inside part too that's overlapping because you don't want that showing um, on the back from the front so next I am just using my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and I'm just covering the entire thing. I didn't worry about doing more than one coat. I thought it looked fine how it was. It was really completely covered and if you want you can make this look a little more distressed but I just went ahead and left it with the white. And then I'm taking some chicken wire that I have left over from a previous project. I had a huge roll from Home Depot. But I know you can get decorative um, chicken wire from Walmart and I'm sure it's easier to work with as well. But I just went ahead and used my staple gun to attach that. I think with the chicken wire from Walmart you can just use glue because it's not so, you know, I think it's a little thinner and easier to work with. But then I'm taking some little wildflowers from Hobby Lobby. I think these are so cute. They came on a really big bunch, so I'm definitely getting my money's worth. And they look a lot more real than anything you can find at Dollar Tree. So I do go ahead and use the florals from Hobby Lobby if I want it to look really real. And I thought these were so cute, like wildflowers. I don't know what kind they are or anything but I just cut some off and then I cut them down um, to the size that I wanted them to be able to fit into that frame and then I'm taking some twine and I'm just tying those in a knot I was gonna do a bow with it but it was just too bulky with the tine or the twine for these tiny flowers um, so I just ended up tying the flowers in a knot and then I used some hamstring to make a little bow for these. Hamstring is a really great thing to use if you're not wanting, you know, if you're wanting something a little bit smaller than twine, but you still want it to look rustic and or vintage. Um, hamstring is really, really good. So I went ahead and made a little bow with some hamstring, and I just put that on there like like the flowers were tied up with a little bow. I think it looks so cute. It's just really cute for spring, very farmhousey. Uh, I don't know. I just loved it a lot. Sorry guys, it is pretty early in the morning. I have not had my breakfast or coffee and I'm just 
rambling. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time, but <laughs> um, I just went ahead and tied that in a knot. You can see there with my twine. And then for my bow, I don't know if I stayed in frame very well, but I'm gonna try to explain what I did here. So I just went ahead and wrapped the string around my fingers, like in loops, I guess. And then once it's as thick as I want it, I cut another string and I tie that in the middle. Um, and basically, so then you have like loops on each side like a bow. And then you can kind of play with it and adjust it until it's, you know, to your liking, however you want it to look. And I think these come out really cute. It's like a really dainty bow for dainty flowers. And I just want to say real quick, if you guys are not following me on all my social media, check out um, the links and everything down in the description box below. You'll see I am on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook. I have an email account you guys can send me messages to. Um, Instagram is really awesome because I know you guys love to see um, pictures and videos of Brie and I do post a lot on Instagram and then I also have pictures of crafts that I did before I started YouTube so you might get some more um, neat ideas and if you see anything that you really like on there that I haven't done in a video let me know if you want to see how I made it and maybe I can make a new video for you guys on it. So next I'm just hot gluing everything together. I put the little bow on the flowers so it looks like it's holding them together and then I hot glued um, the whole flower bunch to the chicken wire. It was a little bit difficult just because you're only sticking it to wires. Just have a little patience. Um, once I got it on there it stayed really well. So I just went ahead and put some glue on the back of like the knot and then also some of the flowers that would be touching the chicken wire and then I flipped it around and I put more glue on the back like on top of the chicken wire um, just extra so that it would hold really well and then I had to hold on to it for a little bit just while the, gl the glue cooled and it stayed really well after that. I think this turned out so cute and I think it would be really cute if you did like three of them in a row like for your kitchen or your dining room or something that would be super cute. I just made one for an example so you could see how I did it but I think if you did three in a row that would be adorable. So for this next DIY, I'm actually using two of the wooden frames um, that I just removed the canvas from and I put a little bit of wood glue in the corners and then some hot glue along the edges to hold it right away. Um, if you guys are smarter than me, you'll remove those staples um, so that the wood will lay flat because I'm not a genius, you guys. I didn't even think about it until afterwards, but it's okay, like it's not that noticeable. And also the hot glue adds a little bit of bulk as well. So if you want it to lay really flat, I would just um, use wood glue and be patient. <laughs> but I need to do it a little quicker for video purposes. But here I am just um, using some brown and black paint mixed with water. And I just put that on there like a stain and wipe it off with my paper towel. Comes out really pretty. It's quick and easy with no fumes and a lot shorter dry time. And then I'm taking the canvas from one of the canvases that I removed from the frame and I'm just cutting along the edges a little bit to the inside of where it's folded. And then I'm just using some Distress ink. I get this at Hobby Lobby. It just makes it look really vintage and old. And I just, um, you know, kind of rub that onto the fabric as you saw. And then I used some hot glue to add this to the back of my canvas to attach it. Um, and as you can see, it's already looking pretty cute. So next I'm just taking some burlap flowers that I made for a previous DIY. I didn't really love how that one turned out, but I really like the flowers, so I just ripped them off of there. And I'm just using them for this one. Um, if you guys want to see how I made these, I'll link that video down below in the description box. Um, they're super simple to make. Once you get the hang of it, um, they're really easy. It does. It took me like a little bit of practice, but 
If you catch on to things better than I do, you'll probably get it down right away. But I just um, went ahead and cut some uh, twine for some stems for my flowers and I am just um, arranging those till I think they look cute. And then I went ahead and used some hot glue on top of the ends of the twine and I used quite a bit so that it would just glue down the flower as well. And then I'm kind of just squishing those together um, in a little spot. Um, and I'm using making a little bow just like I did with the uh, hamstring only I'm using twine this time because I wanted to make a little bit bigger bow um, but I'm using the same technique and then I just go ahead and hot glue it together I kind of scrunched my stems together and then I just once I figured out where I wanted them to be I went ahead and put that bow on there I'm so sorry you guys I can't even talk this morning, but I hope you can see what I'm doing. I think this turned out so cute. <laughs> so for my last DIY, I'm doing the same thing using that same water and paint mixture. I'm just using one frame for this last one. Go ahead and wipe it off with your paper towel and then it dries pretty quickly. Um, and then I did go ahead and add the chicken wire just like I did on the first one. Like I said, if you can get that chicken wire from Walmart, it's going to work a lot better than this real chicken wire. It's a pain in my booty, but um, I think it still came out really cute. So then I'm taking some scrapbook paper. This is some paper that I got from my friend um, for Christmas one year, and it is so cute. I think she said it was from Michael's, um, but it's like a, a, like a farm type book like almost like a kitchen one so it has like a lot of food and stuff on it like um but it just looks really springy and like everything is like farm fresh and stuff it's so cute so i really liked this print though so i just am using this for the back of the frame and i'm using that distress ink on there again um it helps if your table is really dirty <laughs> and has like some bumps because that's just getting those spots like because there's some bumps underneath but I just attached this to some poster board or yeah is that what it's called yeah poster board <laughs> um just so it's a little bit more sturdy and then I attached that to the back of my frame with some hot glue you can already see this is looking pretty stinky cute and then I have this made with love tag that was also with that scrapbook paper and I'm just making a little loop so I can tie that on there and glue it to the top and then I'm also making another little bow and this is from that hamstring again you guys can get this at Walmart it's pretty cheap and they have like all different colors and then so I have a little clothespin I don't know where I got these probably Walmart I've had them for a long time but I think you can get them at Dollar Tree too and then I'm just attaching a little recipe card I have a ton of these from my grandma um, my mom just passed them down to me and there's just a bunch of recipes on there and these are monster cookies. I thought it was so cute and vintage. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to go check out Michelle's channel at Michelle's Cozy Home. I will have her channel linked down in the description box below. So make sure to go show her some love. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> what you doing in there? <laughs>
Ay, you my silly goose. Ay, you my silly goose. Ay, you my silly goose. Ay, you a silly goose. You a goose? Ay, silly goose. <laughs> Silly goose. Silly goose. <laughs> what? <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> mm.